Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Hello. And there is a wasp in the room. A very big wasp. Yeah, that's probably what the cat was looking at before. Oh, that makes sense. Welcome to show <laughs> number 100. Woo! Yes. That's exciting. Sh like the actual let's play this format show because I've done interviews and stuff, but that doesn't count towards 100. This but is like actual live streaming. Actual live streaming. So if you go on the playlist. Yeah. On YouTube and look at the number, it says 99 right now. So this is the 100th, 100th. one. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and uh, somebody said aloha. Hello, uh, uh -huh. Anthony Nelms 38. <laughs> um, yeah, so the show has been going for like a year and a half now around mm -hmm. and doing like two shows every week uh, uh, around that roughly, much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, with a few little breaks in there. But yeah, yeah, it's come a long way if you guys look at the original early videos of it. Very low frame rate. Everything looked terrible. There's no graphics or anything. <laughs> so it... Uh, it looks a lot better, and uh, we've yeah. refined the process. I like a how you bit. define it all by the quality of the technical outputs. So. Yes, <laughs> we have not changed. You're like the content's been perfect, but the technical Throughout, output has improved. It's always years, been so. enjoyable. The content <laughs> that's been a solid, steady thing. Yeah, and we've got uh, Pixel on the cat cam there. Oh yeah, he's uh, definitely interested in that wasp that's flying around. It is a big wasp. It's I don't know where he came from, but he's chunky. a pretty big dude. Yeah. He's doing okay up there. Ugh, um, he finds his way back outside. So welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> uh, where we play new games on classic consoles, broadcasting at 60 frames a second. So make sure you are watching at 60 or you're missing half the video. Um, we're going to play four games today. Excellent. Uh, Rally X uh, from 2014 by Ed Freeze. Uh, Yahtzee, uh, 2015 by Alex79. Dominant Amber by Rick Sch Scribina, aka Wiki Columbus. Scribina? Scribina. Scribina? Yeah. Uh, Isaiah's We Chase 2008 <coughs> by me. Chris Reed, aka Atari 2600 Land, and you are a little bit sick. I am a little bit sick. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit off and <laughs> sucking, sucking some cough drops right now. Sore so. throat. Yeah, if I suddenly start coughing and run out of the room, don't be too disturbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, to, just the time of the year, you know. Two O'Briens, live for Europe. Yes. Yes. I'm usually working. I have today off, so <laughs> I, I, I'm happy I get to join yeah, James that's for, right. for that's... a middle-of-the-day show, because usually we, I have to do it in the evening. Yeah, we are doing a middle-of-the-day Friday show with you. With me. Um, so that that's is very Darcy. unusual. Yeah. Um, oh, Thrust liked the first episode as well, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to thank everybody who's joined us in the chat um, on this wonderful day. Leading up to the weekend, Wink Dot, Thrust 26, Impaler 26, lots of 26s. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Nelms 38, which is a new name. Dan AVC, Wink Dot, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, RC70, and everybody else who is watching but not chatting. Yes. We like to stay silent. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm usually like that in chats too. I'm yeah, you just chatter, join so, and, yeah. and uh, lurk. Lurking Lurk. is fine too. <laughs> yeah, and I want to thank thank our Twitch subscribers: Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Johnny WC twenty three, Mister Fix, RC seventy, Retro Happy Hour, S Ramirez two thousand eight, and Tiki Dan K. Mm -hmm. And if you see the little symbols beside people's names with the Zs and ZPH, mm -hmm. that's because they are uh, subscribers to the show, and you can subscribe for th for free as well um, if you have Amazon. Prime and yeah. link it to Twitch Prime and click subscribe or you can you can send money as well but <laughs> it is free if you have Amazon Prime and a lot of people do yeah that's yeah. pretty common yeah, yeah. and um, yeah so I framed the pictures mm. I haven't hung them up I haven't had time but we op I'm, I, I'm I got them on Wednesday side there. <laughs> got them on Wednesday um, and opened them out of the package but I had a chance to frame them yeah but not put them up this one is the um, they're both the patent applications or the patent approvals, um, U.S. patent approvals for the design of the uh, Heavy Sixer and the cartridge for the 2600 as well. So nice. I thought those would be really nice to hang up um, behind us on the wall. Very appropriate. Yeah. And I actually They're found them in t-shirt form as well. So I ordered <laughs> them both in t-shirts. Of course. So uh, I don't know nice. when those will come, but those will come soon. <laughs> and like I said uh, off the top, uh, it's uh, show number 100. 
Yes. Um, which is uh, unbelievable, <laughs> considering they're about two to three hours each show. Yeah, that's a lot that's of a lot that's of a lot of uh, airtime and yeah. a lot of games because yeah. we do about three oh, yeah. usually. Yeah, usually three at least minimum, three, unless it's if a not huge more. game. Yeah, and it's very involved. Sometimes I just do the one if it's like a or RPG. you're doing a full playthrough. You're trying to get to the end. Yeah, yeah. if it's an RPG, usually yeah. it takes a full show or sometimes even two shows. Um, but usually it's three or four if they're smaller games or you know more arcadey games, or sometimes we're going for high scores. Mm. And that's a one one off kind of thing. Um, but it has been a lot of fun, <laughs> yeah. and there's many more games to come. And um, yeah, I've got some good surprises coming up. What are you doing, little silly cat? He's like kind of nib <laughs> nibbling on my arm, and he's like got his arm on my arm. He's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've got some really cool things coming up. Um, uh, Gao, 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 Nathan Strum is okay. sending me. <laughs> um, I believe it's Nathan Strum. Because there's two Nathans. And I always get them mixed up. Uh, their last names. Um, so let me just... Uh, make sure you get it right. Make sure <laughs> I get it right. Because that's terrible. Uh, that's not the right one. There we go. Oh, no, I don't have his last name here either. Anyway, uh, Nathan Gao is sending me, um, I don't know if you remember, you probably do, War, uh, Wizard of War had a mm -hmm. two-port um, mm -hmm. splitter. Mm -hmm. He's going to be sending me a four-port splitter. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. Um, and he is actually developing some four-player joystick games cool. for the Atari 2600. And all four joysticks plug into one port. Nice. So the second port is free for the Atari, Atari Vox. Nice. So you can have voices and four people playing. And he's got a mini game compilation. Oh, okay. Of simple games. Um, it's already on his web page. I think it's bitethechili.com. Is that his? <laughs> yeah, bite the bitethechili.com. And uh, he's got a. It's called Atari Quad Games. Mm. Uh, one of them is uh, Joust, four player Joust. So you're flapping around and you're trying to defeat each other. And there's oh. no, and I don't know if there's any uh, AI enemies, but it's like... It's just you trying to, you, you against everyone else. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm so, terrible at that game. That would be a horrible. <laughs> so you would, you're not doing well. Defeated. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it is a challenging game. And then a uh, four-player combat game. Okay. You know, the tank game with the mazes and you... And you shoot the bullets and it bounces off. Yeah, yeah one yeah, of the yeah. early games for uh, the Atari. I don't know what you mean, yeah. Um, cool. And uh, probably some more games as well, but that's Quad Games, and his adapter is called the Quadra Stick Adapter. Okay. And so he's going to send one over for me to do some testing on. Oh, cool. Nathan Tolbert. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> what was I saying? Strum. Strum. Yeah. Nathan Strum is the artist. Okay. Who does, like, they both contribute a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, ugh. Nathan yeah. Strum is the guy who does a lot of artwork. Okay. For a lot of the, the games. Okay. Okay. Um, so they both contributed a lot. Yeah. And um, so we're going to have four people during the 12-hour marathon. Nice. Yeah. So I thought that would be the perfect day to do a lot of the testing mm. and a lot of the playthrough of this game. Cool. And it's also very exciting for... Um, some upcoming games that are being worked on by uh, uh, Champ Games because he's thinking of doing a line of sports games mm. that he's talked about earlier and that would be amazing with four people like yeah. four, four player hockey or soccer or so or yeah four player yeah, soccer would be really or good. tennis Even, yeah four player tennis yeah that'd be amazing that would be pretty fun like there's lots of possibilities there yeah 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 yeah, so cool. I um, very excited to try that out. Yeah, and he does have some games to play right off the bat. Cool. Um, so that is in the mail to to me right now. Very cool. Mm-hmm. So let's jump into the games, and the first one up is Rally X by Ed Freeze. And before we go, is this one you've played before? No. Oh, okay. These are all new games. We've never played this this game before. Okay. Um, and it was an arcade game. So Sounds we're going to show the arcade game first. Okay. Um, so that everybody and ourselves know what it uh, what it looked like originally. So I'm going to set that up. 
right now. Bring up that. And this game is from 1980, this arcade game. There we go. Full screen. Playing? There we go. Oh yeah, it's loading up the ROM. Okay, now let's switch over so everybody else can see that. And hear it. Released by Namco. Um, Rally X is a driving game set in an overhead scrolling maze. Released in arcades by Namco and licensed in 1980 to Midway. Oh, you guys can't see it yet. There we go. It was just loading up and as the title screen. Um, I'll have to wait for the sound to kick in to make sure we can hear it. But I think it's loud. Yes. Sorry, sorry, headphone users. I apologize. There we go. Turn it down here. Um, it was the first game with background music. First arcade game ever made with background music. Oh, okay. Because okay. um, a lot of them had sound effects um, and maybe title screen music to attract people, but this was the first one to ever have constantly playing music in the background. Um, and the only contemporary home port was for the MSX, released in 1984. The object of the game is to collect the flags scattered around the maze while avoiding collision with enemy cars. A radar shows the locations of the flags, so you can see the oh, radar on I the right the radar. there. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't show uh, rocks or maze walls. Okay. So it only shows where you need to get Roughly to. Roughly where you need to be. But not the dangers. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, a variation of Pac-Man. It's a maze. Yep. There's enemies. You don't You're get trying to get enemies. things. Yeah. Yeah. So, very, very cool. So, there was very few ports made of this game. Hmm. Um, so, Ed Freeze took it upon himself. And there wasn't one made for the 2600. That's for sure. And, um, yeah. So, he uh, first posted about this on November 7th, 2013. Um, and this build that we're going to play is from September 5th, 2014. Cool. So I will switch over to that and get you playing it. And it's fairly complete. It looks very similar. Was there ever one on the Commodore yeah. 64? Yeah, it was called because... Radar Rat Race. And it was released on cartridge. Um, the, but I... there was... The, maybe somebody attempted to actually do one? Um, that sounds really familiar to me. It looks really familiar to me too, but uh, I mean, there's I, there must have been lots of um, people attempting to make it. Yeah. Oh wait, one second. Don't press anything. I'm not pressing it. <laughs> Let me get that going. And there we are. It's good. There we are. All right. We are good, and you're good to start. And at our destruction immediately. Oh, yeah. little screen jump there. Okay, so the size of this game is 4K, so quite a small game. Um, other games made by Ed Freeze is Halo 2600, which we're going to be playing in another episode upcoming, and Rally X. So he's only made two games. Although the most, although most wanted a 2600 port back then and now. Oh yeah, I bet because it was a popular game. Everybody wanted a, a version to play at home. Um, so, oh. this was kind of supposed to be put out a long time ago by Atari Age. So the box and the cart artwork, um, was already made, and this game was demoed in 2014 at Atari Age's booth, but it was never put out, and the thread just kind of dies in the Atari Age forum, just kind of peters out, um, Ed Freeze never came back to say what was happening with the game, and I believe it's very, very complete. Um, it's got all the elements. There's a slight screen jump when you die, but that's that could be solved quite easily. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's got the radar, it's got your fuel, it's got a score, and I believe they're all working. Yeah, the fuel's going down. As has uh, your lives on the right-hand side there. And the score's working, yep. So, let me read the history of this. So Ed Freeze on November 7, 2013. Um, Portland Retro Gaming Expo got me fired up to work on something new, so I put this together over the last month or so. 
Still lots of work to do, but I've always liked Rally X, and it seems like a lot of people started working on one, but nobody had come close to completing it for the 2600, so here's my attempt. It's a little bit different than Pac-Man because it has four-way scrolling, right? Yeah. And you can't see the cars till, like, the enemies. Oh, they are on the radar, so you can they kind are of, on the radar. So you can kind of drive away from them in sort the maze. Of. It's it's. I find the radar. I'm. Oh, there we go. You kind of have to glance down. Yeah. Glance back up. It's a little small. <laughs> well. Not terrible. All just you need small. is a pixel for each thing. But then. You get trapped. Yeah. It happens. Oh, no. ah! You're okay. You're okay. Ah. Um. Uh, this is a little over 2k. This is his earlier um, uh, information about it. The dress says, nice one. Too bad it was never finished. Yeah, it, it is very disappointing. Um, hopefully... Oh, oh yeah, you're just a little bit faster. Oh. We did it! Level one! Just under a little bit. A little just under half <laughs> yep. the fuel left. So this is a little over 2k. The sounds are borrowed from Halo 2600 right now. Uh, AI needs a little work, needs more enemy cars, needs score and fuel, spends too much time in vertical blank occasionally. But even with one enemy car, it's pretty playable right now. Can you collect all eight flags? Shouldn't be a problem to hit, uh, fit the final version in 4K and stick to the original hardware limitations. Please check it out and send me any feedback you have. That was just his initial post. Um, he says, hey guys, here's the latest version. I slowed down the movement quite a bit so that it's much closer to the original game. Makes it easier to play, but I up the enemy cars to three. Whoa! Oh, you're doing right. I, no, I, I couldn't turn down. I was trying to turn down. Oh. It's a little awkward to turn, but, like, yeah. Is it? A little bit slow to turn? Or chunky? It's just, the reaction it time? It could be the joystick, too, that I'm... Oh. Can you turn before you get to the turn? I guess you could already you press to, in that direction. You have direction. to be very precise. Mm. That's all. It's not terrible. I also tweaked the colors to look better on actual hardware, redid the enemy AI, fixed numerous bugs, included a bad bug, including a bad bug that was causing the whole screen to flicker occasionally. Still tons of work to do, but hopefully you'll see the progress in this build. As always, feedback is uh, appreciated. Um, attaches the latest build, lots of new additions since the latest version, title screen, three lives, score, rocks, multiple maps, two so far he says, random flags, times two flag, uh, speed increases on later maps. Oh, what level are you on? A three? Yeah. Does it, did it say... Did it? Whoa! Oh my god. Speed definitely does increase later on. Where is it? Um, map, map three. A, ch a challenging mode. I don't think you made it to the challenging mode yet. Yeah. Extra life, uh, display lives, fuels, etc. Oh, he still needs to include those. I'm completely out of RAM, and I have to get creative every time I need to store something. I'm almost out of 4K ROM. I have room for one more map, and after that, things will get difficult. Dan AVC says, looks good. Yeah. Fire button sprays oil to stop the red cars. Oh, does it? Just don't do it too much, or you'll run out of fuel. That's yeah. right. We haven't got to that. I haven't done that. I haven't read the instructions yet, but... Um, so if they're following you, you can kind of... You can spray oil. Yeah, because I was going to ask... Uh... Yeah. Is this challenge mode? No, still bad guys. I would think challenge mode is like a timer, and you have to get the flags in a certain amount of time. Mm. That's usually what the challenge mode... Challenge modes usually don't have a death on them. Uh, here's a quick update. Includes darker grass for Mr. Terrain, softer and varying engine noise for Mr. Wild Bill, and most importantly, the fuel has been implemented. Now you have to manage your fuel. If you... What, did you run into a bad guy? Yeah. Okay. That was pretty good. Keep uh, going. Or do you want to play? If you want to read from the middle of that downward. Okay. Where was it? I'll give it a now go. Now you have to manage your fuel. If you run out, and you will, your car will slow to a crawl and the enemies will hopefully find and kill you. Flags give you a couple units of fuel and using smoke takes away uh -huh. fuel. As always, any feedback is welcome. And then on December 29th, 2013, I finally have a new stable build to post. I had a nasty bug that took me a while to track down. This build has lots of changes and improvements, including challenging mode on level 3, oh. and each 4 after that. Oh, okay. So you did do a challenging mode. I don't know. I moved the score to the top and made it visible on the title screen. I added a display of how many cars you have left. That's how you do oh, it. I see. 
The red cars now collide with each other and with rocks. Most of the rest of the work has been behind the scenes with big changes to try to get my CPU usage within budget during vertical blank and overscan. Mm. Uh, still on my to-do list are randomizing somewhat the rock locations, free life at 20k, and fixes to several known bugs. bugs. Then I need to come up with more than 100 bytes if I want to add a third map. If I can do that, I probably won't add the intermediate car rotations. If not, I probably will. Uh, uh, ah. oh, oh, I couldn't move. Yeah, oh, you I'm had no fuel. fuel. Did was, you use the oil? I did to get him off. See, my I, back. I didn't use the oil at all, and I was totally fine. So maybe, uh, okay. maybe the key is just to. There it is. You get a little bit of fuel with the flashing flags. I've noticed. Oh, the flashing ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want me to keep going with the posts? Or? Yes, please. Okay. Lots of good information. There. Jan 9th, here's the latest version. I'm getting kind of close to being done. It fixes all the bugs I know of, adds random rocks for a random, a challenging mode indicator for Wild Bill, plus better and easier fuel management and gets rid of the last scanline glitches for Thomas. <laughs> Who is in the chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I darken the road a notch, which in my opinion doesn't look quite as good in Stella, but looks much better on my CRT with a light sixer. This build also gives a free life correctly at 20,000 points. I don't think I was anywhere near that, so... Uh, no. No. Well, you, you got a lot closer than I did. I'm at four, so you might have been what at level ten. level are you at? Uh, two, I think. <laughs> I made it to four, where the color, the, ter the, the terrain changes color. Okay. Uh, how high can you score? I've been up around 50k a couple 50. times using Stella and the keyboard, but I think it's a bit harder on real hardware with a joystick, yeah. It you have to be more precise with the joystick, I A little I bit more challenging yeah. with the joystick. I did a bit of code compression work, but have a lot more to do if I'm going to squeeze in the third track. I have a few ideas, but finding more than 100 bytes is going to be a slog. Mm. The controls are a little... The controls are good. Yeah. But they're a little challenging. They don't respond immediately, so you have to kind of factor that in. Yeah. Which is fine. This is three? Level three, I think. You're in three, yeah. Oh. It'll change color in four. You go a lot faster. Oh, boy. Which is kind of good. <laughs> no, it is good. It actually... Uh, gets, gets you through the level faster. In some ways, it feels like it's easier, although I'm sure the red the red cars are going just as fast as you are. Oh, so. yeah. Um, where was I? Uh, then September 5th, 2014, a year later almost. Uh, sorry for the long delay between updates. This version adds music during gameplay. Ah, that's a big update. According to Wikipedia, the first video game to feature continuous melodic background music was Rally X. Yes. So I figured I had to add it. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, faster and uh, This easier. is the first, the the version AI showed, what is that, Austin? Austin? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, showed a few weeks ago at the Classic Gaming Fest in Austin. Um, or Al, sorry. This is the first Al. version Al, Al showed. Sorry, I thought that was yeah, AI. L's and I's. <laughs> Uh, I'll show it a, a few weeks ago at the Classic Gaming Fest in Austin. As always, your feedback is appreciated. And then in 2015... Uh, knew it. Knew I was in trouble. Oh, dead. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think that's moved on. There. So that must have been the final... Yeah. Yeah, related um, to that. Well, there was a message for from Al posted on in the thread. I'm going to be demoing Rally X at the Classic Game Fest in Austin this weekend. I'm working on an 8x10 display placards for the game. Placards have two screenshots for each game, and as I'm a bit frantic at the moment, I have to create tons of these placards along with many other items. It would be awesome if somebody could take a few screenshots for me and post them here. So Al did demo this at the Classic Game Fest uh, in 2014, um, and, it, and it looks near completion, and the last post was 2014 September by Ed. Um, the only thing I can see is a slight, I mean I'm not comparing it to the original game in the arcade or anything, but um, a slight jump in between when you die and in between the levels. Oh boy, that's some trouble there. Press the button. No, oh. I don't like to lose my fuel. <laughs> uh, no, I just have an issue. I, with the precise turning sometimes it's like I'm going back and forth before it will actually turn for me. I remember so you see how those cars kind of spin until they start? Yes. I I have a vivid memory of, of I must have played Rat Race on the Commodore. Yeah, Raider Rat Race. Yeah. And it, yeah. 
Yeah, people didn't like that game very much. No, but I because, do remember it. Yeah, because it was, you know, an unofficial port, so they had to change the graphics to... to to rats. My, rats and mice, I guess. Yes, yeah. I played that game. I definitely played that game. My friend yeah. had it on cartridge on her Commodore 64. Yes, yeah. A lot of people had that one. I think it was one of an, a very early um, cartridge release, so a lot of people had it. Impaler says there was a few early attempts to port Rally X, like Rally B, but they're all just demos, though. Yeah. So are the flags always in the same place? Uh, he says that they're randomized. They don't. This, these seem to be exactly the same. Maybe on certain levels there's Maybe. a constant. I don't know. Did I restart? No, this is... We have one... one... I don't know, all the flags that you got are still, they still collected. They seem to be in roughly the same... No, 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 I mean they seem to be in roughly oh. the same place. He says they're randomized. I mean, I'd have to... <laughs> oh, it's not gonna work. Nope. <laughs> so... Gameplay. Uh, the player drives a blue car around a multi-directional scrolling maze. This is instructions from the arcade game. The, go the car automatically moves in whichever direction the joystick is pushed, but if it runs into a wall, it will turn and continue. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Ah. That's interesting. Random direction, I guess. Um, I'm away from those guys. In every round, ten flags are scattered around the maze. The player must collect all of them to clear the round and move on to the next round. The flags increase in value as they're collected. First is 100, second 200, third is 300. There's also special flags. Um, if the player, you fuel. Yeah, if the player collects them, the value earned from flags doubles for the rest of the round. Oh. But you can't tell on the map <gasps> which one. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to collect cars in a second. You get a bunch more in there. Ah! Oh, it's tough. <laughs> you can't tell which is the flashing flag from the map. No, you can. It doesn't just, show. It's Not just, this map, at least. It's just yellow. Yeah. Like all the rest. Okay. okay. If the player dies, however, the next flag is set back to 100, and the double bonus is lost. By collecting a special flag with all 10 flags in one run, the maximum the player can obtain from each round is 11,000 points. So that's quite a bit. But I think you'd run out of fuel if you were just wandering around looking for the double flag before you got all the rest. Yeah, you probably run into trouble. Yeah. Oh. Terrible. Oh, you're going to get oh, it. No, 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 you can play. Yeah, and if yeah, you yeah. read from the second paragraph onward. Several red cars chase the blue one around the maze and, and contact with any of them results in losing a life when hit. The number of these cars begins at three and increases in number throughout each normal round to eight. The first five... Uh, appear at the bottom of the maze and the next three will appear at the top of the maze However, the player has a smoke screen to use against the red cars, which is oil in this version. Yeah, because it's too um, hard to draw smoke Little smokes, <laughs> yeah Yeah uh, where was I? Uh, so that would be If a red car runs into a cloud of smoke screen, it will momentarily it will be momentarily stunned um, But will kill the player on contact the amount of time stunned decreases with each level but will still always cause mm. the red car to chase the blue car using an alternate route. Uh, using the smoke screen uh, uses a, uh, excuse me. <laughs> using the smoke screen uses a small amount of fuel, and using it more than once every thirty seconds will almost ensure that it runs out before the round finishes. Oh, so you can, can you turn completely one eighty? Yeah. Because I just tried and it didn't up, work. down. Like. Yeah. No, I've done Oh, yeah, that. you can. Okay. But it's probably because you have walls, too. So maybe the walls allow you to flip quickly. I don't oh, know. maybe. That could Gosh. be something to do with it. Arena Foot says, this is an another awesome Ed Freeze game. Yes, it is fun. It is really good. Yeah, I definitely played Rat Race on the Commodore 64. Oh, I got the flag. Yay, fuel. And double. Double double the score? Yeah. Actually, my... my it probably maxed out my fuel because I got it almost immediately, yeah. which is not great. Yeah, this is fun. I'm having lots of happy memories here. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia is Playing flooding. in my friend's basement on, on I think, oh, brownish God. orange shag carpeting. <laughs> of course. Lying on the floor, playing playing rat race. Wood paneling on the wall. Yeah, I don't know if she had wood Unfinished paneling. Unfinished basements. Kind of that musty, cold basement feeling, you know. <laughs> Sitting on the floor. Yeah. A with, a small, with a tiny CRT in the corner of a room. CRT. You know? yeah. yeah. I played Atari on like a black and white CRT. Yeah. Wow. 
So I didn't even know what the colors were. Yeah. Of things. It was all it's just, just what black do you have? Light. Okay, hook it up to that because yeah. your parents don't want you to hook it up to the TV screen they're watching. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you get the second TV to play it on, not the primary. Not one. the primary. Yeah. <laughs> Or if you only have one TV, then you're only playing it when other people aren't watching it. So, yeah, that. Yeah. Well, it's the fast level. I like is, the fast level. I know it works. I you think it's worse? No, no, it works. Works, yeah. Yeah, because you get you get. I this don't know, must it's be easier. the challenge level because you're flashing. Oh, why? What does that mean, though? I don't know. Because uh, you still have red cars. Yeah, and they're still. But they're chasing. not moving. Oh, that's it. Okay, they're not moving, but your fuel is going down quick. That's what challenge is. So you just have to avoid where they are. Ah, ah, ah. Here comes the cat. Hi, cat. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Cool. Not moving. I guess the challenge is to get it done quickly? Or, I don't know. Because obviously, it's just bonus. Yeah. There are no you're at four. Yeah. And in the arcade instructions, it said that there were more cars. But I think you. this one maxes out at three. I don't think he added more than three cars. Yeah, it looks like three. Yeah. I haven't seen more than three. They seem to be uh, challenging. Uh, uh, this one is a lot longer. He's interfering. <laughs> yes. You can play another round if you want. Play quite a one few. One more. One more. It's fun. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I've got a cat. <laughs> one of the... Like, I was looking up... <laughs> um, information for this game and ran across Radar Rat Race, of course. Yes. And p people were. The biggest complaint about Radar Rat Race was the music was like three seconds long and it just repeated over and over again and it annoyed the hell out of people. Mm. Oh, Rock actually got in my way that time. Mostly they're not. They're, they're kind not of really out of the annoying. way, but I guess they're sort of. Um... I guess as the levels increase. Oh, it's just straight shot down. Yeah. That's that that happens a lot. So that is, they are random because that wasn't like last time. This no, but is the first level. I I don't know if they're completely random because it seems like that row of four down the right hand side happens. Um, <laughs> he's trying to attack. Oh my goodness! <laughs> just purring away. What level are you at now? It must be just oh it's two because I just started. Oh, going. you restarted. Yeah, because mm -hmm. three is the increase. Three is the challenge. Yeah, and then, and then it goes to the, the ground speed. level. Yeah. Uh, there's the flag. <laughs> oh, no, it's God. over there. Oh, I'm gonna die if I go that way. Oh, I'm gonna die anyway. I got it. Ah! ah! <laughs> oh, oh, got almost. it though. Did you? I no, know. you didn't. I almost oh. got it. Oh, down the right hand side, it's all straight again. I know it's the same pattern, so there must be there's there has to be some some um, familiar like um, repeating with the pattern. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Impaler twenty six was saying the I I R C. If I remember correctly. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yep. If I remember correctly, the Japanese version of Radar Rat Race was better than what we got. Oh, really? Like the. Oh, Radar Rat Race. Yeah. Not this. Okay. Like the C64 version? <laughs> Maybe. C64, a big thing in Japan? I don't really know. Didn't, never heard of a Japanese C64. They had so Yay. many computers over there, I wouldn't think that it would make it would be a dent. as popular? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes if the system has a lot of games... See, the it, flags are in the same place again. Yeah, that's what I meant. It, it, it seems to repeat. Hmm. So maybe the first levels, like after it changes from green to the next color, it will change. Mm. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Bonus for how much fuel you don't use? Maybe on the bonus level? Oh, no. oh. Ah. oh they're coming for you. No, they're don't not. go that. Oh. Oh, it's the bonus level. <laughs> yeah, it's the bonus level. Like they're right by you. Run away. Oh. Yay. No, it doesn't say anything about this. I no, don't I didn't get the bonus need... for fuel. I don't know what you get. So really you are racing against the fuel. 
Yeah, the there, flags, the flags are, in the are still in, in, in the in the row. Yeah. I thought there was some bonus or some randomization. But the, but the you know what the maze, the maze is, different. is different. So the flags stay in the same place, but the maze is changing. That sounds like a challenge. Oh. I did that last time too, I think. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Good. So very good game. Yeah. Um, I don't think he implemented randomization for the flags. I don't, there, I don't. It's every level is exactly the same. But as you say, the randomization might be well, not randomization, but the the mazes is, is what's changing. Yeah. So getting to the flag is changing. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Yeah. But uh, really good game. Um, I don't know if he'll ever go back to it. I don't know. Does Does anybody know if uh, Ed Freeze is still programming for the twenty six hundred? Mm. Um, because I mean, he did Halo twenty six hundred. I think that was after this. Um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully he'll pick this up again and finish it off because I think it's pretty close to it's, being it, done. It looks, yeah. Yeah. So I said it brought back all the feels. <laughs> yeah. Playing in my friend's basement, playing Raider Rat Race. So the next game we're going to be playing is Yahtzee. Mm. And have you ever... Did you ever play Yahtzee oh, with dice? Oh, a lot. Oh, good. So yeah. you'll be able to help out because I've never. Played I haven't. I mean, this. it's been a long time, but we used to we used to have a lot of board games at home, and we we would play Yahtzee a fair amount. First button, second one. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just flipping out. There we go. So the. Uh, Yahtzee, this is actually a hack of somebody else's Yahtzee, um, originally programmed by Russell Babylon, but mm. this one is, oh, why don't I have that information? Um, <laughs> this one is a hack by Alex79, because there are some bugs in it. So yeah, always NTSC. Um, so this one is like the, uh, called the hack, the hack version. Um, originally programmed Russell Babylon in 2000, so very early, early um, uh, homebrew. Um, but according to Arena Foot's homebrew list, it had a flaw. Only two, it only displayed two of the five dice, which are two dice, same type, two dice shown five times. So it was just, it was all screwed up. So it wasn't really playable in its mm. original form. So somebody uh, updated it for 2015. So let's take a look at the scoring of Yahtzee first because that's important well the scoring i mean it's all based on the dice you throw right so right there's five dice mm -hmm. and you throw them mm -hmm. and you're allowed to keep some and re-roll you can you can keep whatever you want and re-roll one re-roll or is it two re-rolls you get two if okay. i recall correctly it's been a little while since i played yahtzee um, you get two re-rolls, but you're stuck with what you have at the end. Yes. And so it, and it, it's sort of like playing poker in a way, like two of a kind, yeah. three of a kind. Poker um, with dice, but it only goes one to six. A sequence, uh, and then you get the scores. Um, uh, there's a bunch of different scores. I mean, yeah, it'll do it automatically. It in will the do game. it automatically. I'm just trying to remember. So that. here's here's a, some aces, twos, threes, fours, five, sixes, and that's yeah. three of a kind. Oh, some of them have four. Mm. Aces, the sum of the number of the dice. Oh, okay. Any combination of aces, the sum of dice with the number one. Yeah. So if you get one, 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 yeah. you add them up and it's you three. You get three. Twos, any combination, sum of the dice with number two. It's all the yeah. same. So it depends on how many twos you have, yeah. how many threes you have. But what you're have. trying to do is, if I remember correctly, you have... You have um, you have to get the aces, twos, threes, fours, five, sixes. Yep. And then you have... Three of a kind, four of a kind. Three of a kind, four of a kind, full, full house, house, straight. Small straight, large straight. Small straight is four, like two, three, four, yep. five. Large straight is five. Is, is one, two, three, four, five. And then Yahtzee, so all five are the same. All and ones then are all a twos. chance combination. And you have oh, like... the sum of all the dice. Yeah. So did you ever play this? I, I never actually played it but it's i remember funny. reading the rules because you have you Maybe basically have to have to put a score in for every category mm. so you want to get the best you can so for example for aces if five. you can get f five aces you'll get the highest score yeah but as you go along as as 
the no you have to put whatever you get in one of the categories. So if you're going to sacrifice, and you only have one chance. To yeah, put it in if that you're category. you want to get the best, the best score. So you know if you get a, a Yahtzee, you want to put the Yahtzee in. All right, for many sixes and fives, high numbers, right? Yeah. Um, right. So or chance, sorry. So for yeah. example, if if you have a really bad roll and you have one one, maybe you want to put that in for the aces, because right. you're not going to get a very high score in it that only category goes up to anyway. Five, anyway. Yeah. That's my vague recollection. And uh, Thomas says uh, he call it, they call it niffle or kniffle. 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 <laughs> I don't know if you it's a silent in K or yeah. not. Um, kniffle. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, it's fun. It's a fun game and it's a game of chance. And there's a little bit and? of strategy, but it's not yeah. hard for a kid to play. So I think that's right. why a lot of kids play it. Oh, okay. And and you know you're you're adding scores and you know but. Uh, yeah, yeah, we played a lot of that. We had we had the Yahtzee. It's easy because it's just a dice game, and then you just need to score it. That's all it is. It's right. dice and scoring. So. And on the computer, it does the scoring. Exactly. So you pretty much just say which ones you want to keep yeah. and re-roll, and then and which category you want to put it into. Yeah. That's okay. Good. So go for it. I believe this is only a one-person game. How many times can I? What What are the controls? Um. So you can either keep this. And pick which one you want to put it in, or or you pick your dice, or you pick your dice. So you go up to dice. There we go. Okay. And pick which one you want to keep. I'm guessing. So you're gonna keep the five, five, and five. Yeah, that makes sense. And then go down, and there, I think that's roll. Yes. Oh, Oops, four fives. And there's, I lose nothing by rolling. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you got four fives, and then you get to yeah. pick fives for that. Yeah. And it so should... I could do four of a kind, or I could Ooh. pick fives. So you have options, right? What is four of a kind? Uh... Four of a kind. So five, four fives would be also be four of a kind. Is. So you have you have multiple options. It says it scores twenty four. The sum of all the dice. Yeah. So you have a one there. Yeah. So I would rather. So I mean, it's it comes down to strategy. I only get one more point. If that was a six, then maybe I'd go four of a kind. But so but you you, get you take a, a little risk. bit more when you get four of a kind. And that's a, pr and but it's a high scoring yeah. on the five. I haven't played this in a while, so <laughs> my strategy is not as sharp as it used to be. No. But um, anyway, I'm just I'm just gonna go that way. Let's see. So it was four fives, and it gave you a twenty. So I could go for a straight. Two, I... four, five, yeah. yeah, and hope for a three. Or I could do two, two, and five, five. Which is. Um, and hope I get a two or a five on the other which dice. Which is a full house, right? You might want to go for that. Because you have two rolls, and you have two chances. There Yay. you go, you got it. So that is 25 points. Full house? Yep. Yeah, so I could put it in as three twos, but I would get far fewer oh. points. Somebody said keep the fives and roll the other dice. Was that for the previous one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it no, you did well on that one. Yeah. It's been a while. I So three, I've got three, four, five. All you need is a two. I need either a two or a six, so that's a good one for... Um, oh. I could hold on to the one. Or or yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna. I would hold on to the one. I'm not gonna hold on to the one. No. No. Just three, four, five. Yeah, because I get two rolls anyway. And hope for a two. A two, a, one, a six. Or a six. Or I might get lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold on to. So the you one. could get a small straight as well, right? So. I've got two fives and two threes. Uh, that doesn't really give Try you again. anything. Try again. Try again. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Wow. So I've got a long straight. Yep. Right? Large yep. straight. Large straight. Large straight. 40 Scores points. 40, regardless of what you have. Wow. <laughs> and I guess it doesn't need to be two player because no, you, could you could go and then I could go and yeah. we compare scores. So, yeah, I mean, and it's kind of. You can is play against player, yourself. Is there a two player round? Like, can you play two Not player? In this. Not in this. Oh, see, because normally what you do, you'd go back and forth. Yeah. So this is Yahtzee for yourself to get the highest score you can. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, it should. It could flip and say player one at the top. 
and then flip to player two yeah. and have just the totals well, at that, the bottom. That would be how you play Yahtzee. Yeah. And you would just pass the, the joystick, really, because you, everyone takes an individual turn when you play Yahtzee. Mm. So, yeah, that's all it's kind of missing is scorekeeping for multiple players. And I don't think that would be too hard to add. You just, I don't know, would it? No, it, it <laughs> wouldn't, know. because you would just need but, one variable. Yeah. Well, but, no, you need a bunch, because it has to keep track of all this. But it would have to just flip screen and say player one, player two. But you, what you need at the end of the day is, is yeah, you need to keep track of, of the score it. page. There's a few variables, but I, yeah. I think, because it starts over every time. So I don't think it needs two that screens, much. Two screens, two, two Ataris. <laughs> there you go. And you go. just play side by side. You there know? you go. Everybody has two or more yeah. Ataris, don't they? <laughs> Come on. We I have know a all few. you guys out there watching it. <laughs> we have a few. Yeah. Probably yeah. Be like six or seven. <laughs> If you count, Do you really? well, probably eight, <laughs> like counting adapters yeah. and emulators. Can you emulate on your computer but have two going at the same time? Like two, it's oh, Stella, yeah, right? I haven't, I haven't yeah, played You could have that. two Stellas going. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you could. Anyway, that's cute. Uh, Arena Foot says, two games for my books. Yeah, ah, excellent. Nice. Well, you cover a lot of, you have a lot of games in your books. Yeah. Um, so here's a, so you can keep playing. Keep playing. And I'll read out... Um, the history of this. Uh, so Wrestle Babylon posted uh, December 12, 2000. Here's a Christmas present for you all. For your gaming pleasure or lack thereof, I present uh, my version of Yahtzee for the 2600. I've been working on this off and on for a year or so. I wanted to program something for the 2600, so I thought I would pick something that had not been done before, and Yahtzee seemed it would be easy enough to do. He did great colors yeah. and great text. For this, I mean, it is flashing, but it's it's not that bad visually. It's just a little flicker, and I mean, this has been updated so the dice show properly and the selection screen. That looks great. That looks really, really good. Um, I also wanted to learn as many twenty six hundred programming tricks as possible, which you would have to do with the with the flickering. Uh, at present, this is a one player game. The game follows standard Yahtzee rules. The only exception is that you can only score extra Yahtzees as Yahtzee. Some, vari some variations of the rules allow you to score extra Yahtzees as combinations less than a Yahtzee. Oh. So, if you get a Yahtzee, like, is it one, two, three, four, five? What is Yahtzee again? Yahtzee is five of a kind. Five of a kind. Um, so he says you can only enter in a Yahtzee as five of a kind. Yeah. So if you get five of a kind, it's probably best to, to put it in there. Um, Blech. and he says some, some, you can just put anything in Yahtzee and it's fine. And you just don't get as high of a score. Um, uh, the game is, control is very intuitive, which it is, we figured it out. Use the left joystick to play the game. From the title screen, press the fire button to go to this game. Roll the dice. The five dice are white in color, which indicates they are unselected. Pull the joystick down or move it right or left to highlight a die. The highlighted die will flash. Press the fire button to select the die. Move the joystick in any direction to move away from the die. Notice that the selected die will now be green in color. Repeat the above sequence to select all the dice you wish to keep. Now move the joystick up or down so that no dice are flashing and you've not highlighted any scoring options. He should have done another row, but it looks like he ran out of mm. room, like for roll, like a a line that says roll, mm. or something like that, or something else. That would be a little bit better, um, or even just a line or or something to indicate to roll, um, or he could have terrible. No, he probably wants all the information on the screen. Bonus, no bonus. What does that mean? Probably because you didn't you get, get all of them. I didn't get very. If you get all of them scores. perfectly, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Three of a kind, four of a kind, and Yahtzee are all I have left. Oh boy. Uh, chance. Oh yeah, I forgot about chance. So if you get high numbers, go for chance. Yeah. It's not good. Well, you could roll the ones and the ones, and then go for chance. Yeah, four, five, six. I got three of a kind. Three of at a least. kind, yeah. Oh. Well, then I would go for three of a kind because it's not a high scoring chance. None of them are. <laughs> what is this? Three of a kind. It's four asked to be of four a of a kind, Yahtzee. So I have to go with whatever multiples. Two, 
Me three. too. Yeah. Hoping for another one. Yay! Oh, yay! Got four of a kind. And Yahtzee. Oh, well, let's see. Could get yeah, lucky. Yeah, could. Got a couple of chances there. Oh, nope. One more chance. And that becomes your chance. Eh, it's pretty low, but I, I guess it just scores zero on Yahtzee if you don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Because <laughs> you have to put it somewhere, so if yeah. you're putting zero somewhere, you have to be selective. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to work, I bet, but that's okay. Uh, do, 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 after a roll, blah, 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 there's no take back, so careful with your scoring. Uh, one more chance. No, no. that's okay. So what do you get? Get zero, probably? Yeah. Yeah. One, eight, go. seven. There we go. Can, <laughs> Arena Foot, can you type, type <laughs> no, that in? No, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't that's think that's good? No, no, no. I've I've been much more successful at Yahtzee in the past. So it's all about the strategy about if you don't have a good role, where to put it. And it's been a while. It's been a while. So if you can read from there. You going to place more? Well, I'm going to play my turn <laughs> as I haven't played. All right. And I'm going to see if I can beat your score. So 187. So this this one here? Yes. Okay. This is a uh, a hack I made to fix the scan lines count which caused the display to jitter on the latest version of Stella. Um, it can also happen with certain TV sets on real hardware. I also slightly altered the excuse me, the display routine so that the leftmost die isn't duplicated anymore in Stella, although that's due to a bug in TIA emulation and not in the ROM itself. The original ROM displays the dice correctly on real hardware as it does the hacked one. To eliminate Flickr and Stella, enable the phosphor effect while the game is running. Thrust says no bonus equals bad score. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I might need help. I can't remember what the bonus this. was, though. I, I can't remember how Thrust, you get that. Thrust, how do you get a bonus? Is it like Anyone you remember? have to do aces through sixes perfectly? Or above a certain number I mean, of dice. Ideally, but... you have five of a kind for all of them, but that's a but that's pretty not hard. Happen. Well, it, it is luck too, right? Yeah. What should I do? Um, so, is this your Threes? first turn? Second it... turn. Second I turn. A, I got a small straight. So basically, you. I think initially the best thing to do is to target. Aces, fours, threes, fours. Five. Yeah. So whatever whatever repetition you get, target mm. those first. But then you ah. become more limited as time goes on. So. I have two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then if you... could go for a large straight. Two, three, a small straight. You could go for a large straight. I already have a small straight. Ideally, for the straights, you want to end on a six if you can. Those oh. That gives you the highest score. Well, then I'm in a perfect position then. Yeah. Oops. And then if you if you miss on the large straight, then at least you can you you get the, the small straight. But I already Because the it small would be straight. a terrible score... Yeah, so you have a you have a small straight. No, I already have a small. I've already oh, see, used it. then 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 you you mess that up. <laughs> what yeah. should I do? Yeah, no. Oh no! Oh, you can put it as chance. You've got quite a few. Yeah, it's high you've numbers. Got, it's 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 oh, decent. Seventeen. So you've got two sixes. Oh, should I go for full house? Sure. And worse comes to worse, uh, you've got two sixes or two twos. Oh, there you Yay. go. Full house. Oh, you need three of each for um the bonus at least three of each okay that makes sense uh, so i should go for ones or fours go for fours i i say target the higher numbers early on in the game <laughs> and then if you have to throw it away you can throw it as a one uh, one i have a one two three four <laughs> but you said higher is better for large well because you want to try for the five of a kind and if you don't <laughs> achieve it, but you can pick two twos, and and you can do two twos. It's it's hard to get three of a kind for all of them. It's too late. <laughs> two twos. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need to highlight them. Oh, three ones. Right. Yeah. Four ones. Yay! We'll get a bonus though, because I messed up on the twos. So you can either do oh, because I think you would have gotten more for that for um four of a kind oh so you want to fill those those ones first i think because you get higher scores right. for them unless it was four sixes and then you might have gotten more but i can't remember now uh 
Yeah, this three is not the most kind. riveting game to watch. <laughs> it's like, oh, throwing dice. Yeah, three of a kind. As we as we try to remember our Yahtzee, or fours. our Yahtzee strategy from back in the day. Um, but well, well it, it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where's the scoring? No, it's uh, Wikipedia. So four of a kind. Sum of all dice. Yeah. Three of a kind, four of a kind is sum of all dice, whereas... The fours are just the sum of the fours. Fours is just the sum of the fours. So this is better for three of a kind. Because it's a kind of high number yeah, dice? Yeah, yeah. And this is where the strategy comes in. It's like, what you roll is, <laughs> is sort of random, but you have to kind of figure out where it makes the most sense to put it. You have one, two, three, four. So you have a small straight. So you can either go for a large straight, but... I think but I will. The thing is, what else do I have left? You, the only, di the only, only threes, fours, and fives, and sixes. But you have to roll a five. Whereas if you had two, three, four, five, a one or a six would work. So on the on the balance mm. of probabilities, it's bad. It's bad. So you've already got your, but you've already got your aces. So you could pick a three or a four, and just mm, go for it. Or you can re-roll all of them. You know, like yeah. you have that yeah. option too if you don't like it. Oh, four C. Sometimes <laughs> it works in, to your advantage. Uh, but still very. So if you did four of a kind, you would add five. I I say four, four of a of kind. Four of a kind gives a big score because it's <coughs> all of the dice. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, a bunch of twos and threes. You've got a full house. Oh, you've already you've it's put that in. That. Uh, you've got all your twos. You don't. I don't and have you, threes. You don't have threes. Uh -uh. It's okay. Ah, uh, no bonus for sure now. Oh, that's okay. Uh, fours or fives? You need either of those, so you could target one or the other. Uh, five. Oops. Yay! Yay. Boo! No, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. You want to get fours now. The higher dice on the higher numbers, anyway. You haven't had a lot of sixes. It seems like no. I think my six. No, no. Thrust is like complaining about our play gameplay, or mine anyway. Goes for the bonus first. Oh, three fours. Well, that's... like I said, we haven't played this in a long time. <laughs> Yay, Yahtzee! Yay! Which is worth way more than four, five fours. Right? Yes, it is. It's worth 50 points. Yeah. Now I can go for my fours again. Nope. Ooh, Ooh four, four, four fours. fours. Good job. No sixes. Oh, no. <laughs> just five. Oh, four you still ones. have a large straight to target. No, just keep, just roll them all again. Yeah, that's not good at all. Still no sixes. Uh, four, five. You got three, four, five. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna get a straight off of that though. With one roll. Uh, what else is but left? You've no sixes, sixes so, so it's you're either the best to go for a large straight. I'm closer to a large straight than a sixes. Yeah. Winner thrusts. Nope. Ugh. Nope. So. Yeah, I'll put it under large straight. I think you're. Because the chances are lower. Chances are lower, lower you're going to get a large straight. Oh, you'll, you'll kick yourself. There you go. You've got some sixes there. Finally. Yeah. you got a Yahtzee, though. That's kind of the key, is filling that oh, Yahtzee slot. Oh, I kicked slot. your ass already. Yeah. I know. I... <laughs> Only because I'm helping you. <laughs> That's true. No bonus, but yeah. 228. Yes. Woo. Oh, that's why you said winner, because I, I passed your score. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> because of Yahtzee. Get because I got juice. the Yahtzee. Excuse me, I'm just going to go blow my nose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right it. when the game's over. Yeah, it's okay. You <laughs> Not can nothing set up to the next do. one. Set up the next one. So, a that's a pretty good implementation of Yahtzee. I mean, everything's there, and it's very colorful. Uh, just a slight tweak would be good. A two-player option and a line that says roll. Um, if there's any vertical uh, real estate left, it could be a small roll. It could be just like a line so that it flashes or something to, in to indicate rolling. Um, you could even put roll on the left-hand side where the two dice are. 
and um, I think that might be enough rule or something like that. Might be, might be enough room, but uh, that's a really good Yahtzee game if you want to have uh, Yahtzee on your 2600. Uh, Thrust says, more points, more points if you put the four sixes into the sixes, then you would have had the bonus. But I already failed. Interesting. Oh, do you have to get a certain score? Sit down. What are you doing standing there? <laughs> um, Thrust says, more points if you put the fours into the sixes, then you would have had the bonus. Uh, do you have to get at least three is. for all of them? Yeah, but I didn't. You didn't on the threes. Aces or two. Or the to threes, twos. The threes, you only had two, two threes, yeah. And the twos, I only had twos at two as well. Yeah. So I wouldn't have made the bonus if you have to get three on each one. Um, so, Unfortunately. Yeah. So, but really good, uh, really good. Hi, Atari. Really good Yahtzee game. Very colorful. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much simple, as good as simple. you're going to get. Yeah. Oh, you need 63 points. Three of each on average. Oh. oh, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. So the next Ooh, game we're going to... It's really flickery on the screen there. Oh, ignore that. It's yeah. not... That's not how it is. Okay, good. That's this program trying to do 60 frames a second. Oh, I at see. At the same time as encoding and streaming. Okay. So ignore what you see there. It's good to know. <laughs> uh, so the next game is um, a kind of a quick reaction game. Okay. Called Dominant Amber. So if you want to hold down the button. Cats are back, by the way. So let's try and keep the puzzle uh, games oh, for you. Yay. On your turns. Which one is this? Dominant Amber? Dominant Amber. Okay, so this uh, was first posted December 31st, 2016. Mm -hmm. It's an, actually a 1K game. Very small, but it's padded out to 2K for compatibility. Uh, it is, why didn't I put this guy's name? Wiki Columbus, uh, made by Wiki Columbus, uh, whose other games are Adventure 1K, Dominant Amber, Micro Games 1K, Mini Game Collection, Muncher, Muncher 77, Pong 256 and 512, Ram Combat, Ram Frog Pong, which, which we played on the Ram Day, all the games mm. that fit into Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 128 bytes or less. Wow. Uh, Ram Helicopter, Snake, Tournament Table, VCS Conversion, Vong. Uh, as well as Vaughn. So he's really into making small games. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I'll give you the rundown how to play this. It's only two things you have to press. Oh, your 2600 color bug is showing again. Is it? Oh, it is. On the second column. Yeah. You can see there's uh, the color timing is off by one pixel. See that kind of line on the left-hand side of the second column? Where the colors just a little bit different. Oh yes, 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 yes. The colors carrying over from the first yep, column to yep. the second one. Yeah. Because it, because I think because of <coughs> the RGB add-on board. Yeah. It's throwing off the color timing. Mm. Or it could be the original board as well. Yeah. On my, Not so good. On my, uh, mm. um, yeah, twenty six hundred. Um, but anyway, you can play through it. It's not. It doesn't destroy the game. Yeah. It just makes it look a little funny. So there's only two. Stop yawning. Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> just sick. It's only two to two things to press in this game. Yeah. Left for red. Okay. Right for blue. Okay. And it counts down the timer, and the faster your reaction. Oh jeez. Oh, not faster your reaction. If you get it right, you get points. If you get it wrong, you get you, you get lose deducted points? points. Yeah. Okay. Um, but there's also a timer, so that the faster you do it the more points you get at the end. Okay. Because you have two minutes, I believe. And then it just keeps going. Okay. Yeah. So, very simple. If there's more red on the screen, press to the left. If more red or more, more blue? Red. Is that what you're reacting to? Yeah. More, the, the more the color on the screen, okay. you press to that direction. Okay. So red is left, blue is right. Okay. That's all there is to it. <laughs> do it in under two minutes. Or you have to do it in two minutes. i nervous now. This feels like it's a... not. You don't have to do... There you go. So... You got it. Um, so, uh, December 31st, 2016, when I heard that Hackaday was having a contest for projects that use 1KB or less of code, I thought it would be a good opportunity to get myself back into 2600 programming. It has been too long. Uh, this is a simple game that is based off of the Dominant Amber game and the At Game Sega console. So this is actually a port. From Sega? Yeah. 
It's a really simple idea that is probably copied in other places too. I couldn't think of a good name for it, so I'm copying that as well for now. So the game, the name of the game is copied too. The screen shows a random arrangement. Oh, sorry. The cat can disrupt the game by pressing on the power. A random arrangement of two colored objects, and you simply select which you think is the dominant one. If you get it correct, points are awarded. Incorrect responses subtract points. There are two minutes for each game. In the first minute, the dominant color is a bit more obvious. Anyway, wanted to share it here before I posted the contest. Happy New Year! <laughs> gets Some of tough. them are really... It gets harder and harder, he says, as the time goes on. Um, nope. Oh, really? <laughs> really? So that's that's about it to the game. That's all the explanation. Why are your wow. paws wet? So I guess at the beginning, the randomization... Is further apart. Is further apart. It's like from one to however many. Let's see, one six by uh, ten? Sixty? Okay. So it would be one to sixty is the possibility for one color. And as it gets gets on, it narrows down. It would be like 10 to 50, and then it would be... Oh, you're done. 1540. I was super fast. The funny thing is, is as you stare at it and your eyes kind of fuzz over, you start to get that 3D effect of the red and blue. Oh. So... Yeah, no, I got a few. You you can hear it goes. It gives an uptone if you're right and a downtone if you're wrong. So you, it you can find out pretty quickly if you're wrong. So fifteen forty. Uh, nobody's typing that in. That's okay. I they don't, don't need to type it in. Freaky type game. Yeah. Freaky type game. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Again, not the most exciting to probably watch nope. being played, but it feels like a. a, a uh, when you're doing those um, 3D eye puzzles? No, 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 no. Uh, color vision test. You oh, know, where it's like, yes. do you see the number in this in this round bubble? It feels a little bit like that after a while. It's like, can you see the red and blue? <laughs> Sorry. Getting more wrong. I think I'm doing it faster. You're but doing I'm it faster because I was just going slowly at the beginning. That might be against me getting it wrong. Well, you you just need to go with the flow of it. Yeah. So you lose twenty when you get it wrong, but you get ten when you get it right. It's getting harder. Oh, so do not get it wrong. Oh. No, but here's the thing. You get it wrong, but then you get 10 for getting it right because you have a 50-50 oh, shot, so you really only lose 10. You and you lose a little right. bit of time. Yeah, because you have to get it right to move on. So I feel like you should lose more when you get it wrong. Damn it. Because speed, obviously... Yeah, thrust 26 is saying for just 1k only, this is very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite entertaining to play, too. Yeah, you're going to beat me. Yeah. Oh my god, that gets really hard. It gets really close. I'm guessing at some of these. I'm like, Well, you are. Know. You're just like, I think there's more red, or I think there's more blue. Yeah, so you beat me there. But speed plays it, because like I said, when you get it wrong, you lose 20 but gain 10 back, so you so really only boom, lose boom, boom, 10. Boom, fast. So I think the speed is the biggest... Uh... I'm going to try an experiment. Okay. You're going to try it? <laughs> yeah, I'm already going to win. Give Are me you? a score. Yeah. Part. You might not be your score. Well, you might. It kind of... Because this it's... is called cheesing the game. <laughs> doing something you're not really supposed to do. RC70 says inappropriate content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
there you go. You've already beaten it. <laughs> I knew it. Just like when you figured out that the you speed, yeah. that you always gain points. <coughs> Yeah. If you Sorry. don't do the wrong thing twice in a row. It needs to be double loss. So you yes. should lose 30. So then you lose more with each loss. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you really as you punished. say, if you're going even. Right. You, you, in theory, should be around zero, but it's not exactly even one up, one down. would be fine even then. Like if, if you yeah. gain 10 and lose 10 yeah. every time, if you get it wrong, you get zero. You just do not advance at all. Yeah, yeah. But and and you could still cheese the score that way because yeah. it's random. Yeah. Um, but it would be a lot lower. But there you go. I beat yeah. it in like one. Yeah. That could be fixed easily. Yeah, it's just a scoring adjustment. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that I think you need to lose more when you lose. Yes. And then you it's should be much really more punished. challenging. You should be really because punished. then you would slow down and go, okay, yeah. I don't want to get yeah. any wrong. But um, yeah, but other than that, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it is. I mean, I don't want to play it again, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is it is that fun. is really funny yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's a good it's really really accomplished for 1k oh for yeah game. like it's look at the colors Even this is pretty i like that he a lot a, he picked a really nice pattern as yeah well. i think so yeah. um he could have picked a randomized pattern um for the blocks too i want to create a hardware version of this game like a like little thing of things. LEDs bam, and two bam, colors, bam, 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 bam. like colored LEDs, and you just oh. and you yeah, and a button on each. You can make a great little mini game. Red button, blue button. Yeah, I want to make that. And a and a and just a line of LEDs, and then you just, just have to. Is it more red or blue? And you just, oh, just keep going. Just a line. Yeah. A line would still work. Not a line, no, like a little square a of grid. LEDs. A grid. Sorry. And they yeah. sell those for really cheap. There, there's a project. I want to make that. Hardware I'm make project. That. Yeah. Use a Raspberry Pi. Well, do you even a need a Raspberry zero? Pi? Because you need, what, 1K to run this one? Yeah. Run? I don't know. I, I, I'm not a programmer, but... But you still need... You a, could probably help You still need a, a computer. To, you need something. To control, to output yeah. the colors and to get input. Yeah. So you need something. But a Raspberry Pi Zero could Pi zero easily, easily tiny. run that, right? You could fit it in the buttons. Yeah. You could fit it on the back of, this, oh, of the LED. Different. Yeah. Yeah. So that's if wanna, for a, that's a great programming experiment. I make one. <laughs> and it's a fun, fun it enough really game that simple, it's. It seems But you would lose. You would lose double. You would lose thirty. And gain, oh, you'd also 10. have to yeah. have um, a score output as well. You'd have yeah. to have another LED at the bottom. Yeah. It would be more interesting to lose more and see how far you can get before you hit zero. Or you could have the grid. That would make more sense. You could have the grid at the end display your score. Because there's enough. There's enough. Yeah. Uh, or or don't, not not have it be score. Have it be the number of levels you can reach until until you start you you lose it oh, back to zero. That that's true. So so you're oh, counting how how many how successful. many successful how many um different tests you get through. Right. So successfully. Success. Not successfully. Your yeah. score goes up and then comes back down to zero. So if it goes back down to zero, then it counts how many how many mm. grids you've gotten through. Yeah, it's different. It's another way of doing it. Yeah, um, if you get it wrong, you could you can alter this so that if you get it wrong, it changes the screen. Yeah, like, you could do that. Too. Right or wrong, it changes yeah. every time. Yeah. So that you can't get. Yeah, I'm assuming the, right the reason why you have to hit go is it's simpler from the programming perspective. 1840 on cheese mode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony Games update round two ended with Rebel, James winning Rebel. again. <laughs> oh, it's the tenth today. I won. Really? Round two, that was a minor 2049er. That's right, nice. Dan AVC. I forgot about that. It was yeah. today that it ended. So I've got two wins. Nice. That's pretty good. What's the next uh, What's the next game, Dan? I have to schedule that. Um, and when does it end? Um, because I am going away. We're going away oh, for a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. I have to schedule that either before I go or just after I get back. So, yeah, let me know. So, yeah, fun, cool. fun game. That is a fun game. Here we go, and we got one more to one go. More. Space game. Oh, awesome. That's super fun. I love that. That'll be a really good challenge. Uh, so, oh, well, the fourth game. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I didn't hit the button. Oh, you didn't? Sorry about that. Okay, one second. Let me just prepare the last game here. here Isaiah's We Chase. Ready? Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, starts tomorrow. Okay. 
Okay, I'll probably schedule that in before, because there's a number of shows still to go. Oh, loud music. Loud, loud music. Okay, Isaiah's We Chase. There is so little information about this game out there. <laughs> like, um, unless um, Arena Foot's book has it. I did not check. Where are my books? Um, because I found, like, zero information except somebody selling this game. Oh, really? That's all the information, and luckily it had a little bit of information when he was selling it. Uh, where's the index? Nope. Not this one. Let's see, volume one. Nope. Okay, <laughs> so, still don't have much information on this. Uh, ends June 2nd. Oh, I will have to play it before I go. I will not be back by June 2nd. Um, so this is Isaiah's We Chase by Chris Reed, a.k.a. Atari 2600 Land. First posted? Don't know. This build? Sometime in 2008. Wow. Um, other games by uh, Atari 2600 Land. Billy the Ball, Whitewater Madness. I, I could have <laughs> uh, messaged Atari 2600 Land about this, actually. Um 2600 Triss, Alien Greed 1 through 5, Alien Jail, Ants, Aquarium, Art Studio, Bananas Are Good, Bird Brain, Bomber, Castle of Doom, which we finished on the show, uh, Killer Bees, plus a thousand other games. <laughs> he makes tons of games, like really quick, simple, simple games. Um, so this was released by Sean and CPU Wiz on cartridge. So this was a cartridge game. And, uh, and also ROM somewhere. And uh, info from Arena Foot's homebrew list. So he does have info on his list. Uh, there was only 20 carts made, and they're $26 each. Um, so the information is, in the game you control Isaiah's wheelchair as he navigates mazes to get to the... Oh, people can hear it but not see it. There you go. There's the title <laughs> screen. Sorry. If you want to extend it, let me know. I'll be away for a while. I'll be back on middle of June, so I'll play it before, beforehand. Before I go, so don't worry about that. Um, but I will let you know. But I, that would extend it quite a bit. Um, in the game, you control Isaiah's wheelchair as he navigates mazes to get to his new Nintendo Wii console to play at the end of each maze. That's it. Ready? Sure. And the wheelchair has no stop. <laughs> so you just you have to keep. Oh my goodness. And you're dead. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we need a cap reset button. There we go. So you have to keep... It's like Snake. Jeez. Right? Again, very precise controls. Oh. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Along and... So, yeah, that's that's it. That is... Okay. Uh, money from Isaiah's oh. Wii Chase is being used to buy Isaiah a new wheelchair ramp. So this game uh, was made for raising money. For somebody named Isaiah. Oh, wow. And to, to build him a wheelchair ramp, I'm guessing, into the house. Or, yeah, if you're building one, oh. it's going to be into the house, not into a car, because those need to be a bit, bit more sturdy. Um, the game is also limited to only 18 carts available with a sale for sale, with a total number of 20 uh, copies being made. A couple were reserved ahead of time. And you get one point per level. <laughs> it's almost like, what level did you make it to when it's one point per level? Um, and that was posted October 15th, 2008, so the game was released sometime before October 15th, or around that time. And that is all the information I have about this game. It is nowhere on the internet. There's no info. Oh, and you lose a point when you die. <laughs> what are you cats up to? They're playing with my cough. Oh. Candy uh, wrappers. They're fun. Eh? Chasing them around the room. <laughs> oh, this one has some turns. Oh. oh. I guess you gain a point, lose a point. Oh, when you go to zero, oh. the game's over? Oh. So you get, pretty much you get an extra life yeah. each level. That's pretty generous. But I guess the ma mazes get a lot harder. 
Also, it's harder to keep track of which level you made it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you press reset for me? Yep, I'll be the cat. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Atari. Game reset. Just need to put a treat on there. Yep. Uh, we have to wire an external button to it. Yeah, so we can go tap. Yeah. Teach him to tap it when, <laughs> and he gets a treat, I guess. But then he would just tap it continuously. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to figure that out. Actually, I think the RGB mod I have in the system allows you to wire an extra button for the reset but, really? I didn't, but I didn't opt for that because it's it's really weird and you have to use a special joystick oh. uh, with an extra button and it's just yeah. so this is the level you made it to yeah 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 no you're much more adept adept <laughs> at using that joystick than I am I think oh god oh good job that's a tight ending there Gesundheit <laughs> thrust, the German <laughs> says. I don't think I've ever had a German say, uh, oh, come uh, on, <laughs> say Gesundheit to me. Oh, oh. no, <laughs> one pixel. This one's hard. What's that cat doing? He's chasing, I told you, he's chasing rappers. That's what they like. Oh, <laughs> see, it's very, very precise. <sighs> Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Anyone see Catch the Cat to uh, jump? Uh... Oh, they would have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the cord for the joystick moved and the cat went straight up in the air. Or Atari did. Yeah. Not the cat. They have names, don't you? Yes, you do. Although we do refer to them as the gray one and the black and white one. Right? Yeah. The gray one and the black and white one. <laughs> That's just affectionate names. Yes. Hi! You didn't get your medicine. At 11. Oh. You need burritoing. <laughs> or puritoing. Puritoing. Yeah, everybody who tuned in last episode, um, they know that uh, Pixel was sick. Yeah. And he had his teeth taken out. Two teeth taken Two out. Two teeth taken out. One, one originally, but they found another one that was bad. So they took two teeth out. So he's on some happy drugs right now to alleviate the pain and some antibiotics. But, uh, oh. Did you see something? Oh. But uh, he's doing really, really well. Yeah, he's been like, very good. Really well. He seems pretty, pretty happy. We yeah. figured he must and have. And he's active, really. Active. He must have been in a, maybe a little bit of pain. Because he's a lot. He's closing the door. Yeah. He's a lot happier <gasps> now. Oh. That I was that that corner is challenging. Yeah, he's being a lot more affectionate, a lot happier. So I think when he's come down off the drugs. He has to be on them for seven days, but I don't think he needs them. Aww. Sometimes I hit it sort of on an angle. Can you open the door too? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it says 2600 was originally supposed to be in front of you because um, it has a 15 foot TV cord and power supply. Yeah. So it was supposed to be here, but I don't want it here. At least so. Oh, can you reset <laughs> it, please? Uh, that was not fair. I accidentally touched it. See if I can make it past that level. So I don't even know how many levels this has. Mm. If it has an ending, it must have an ending because it has very specific levels. Yeah. It's not randomized at all. Maybe you get to the end and he gets to play his Wii. And you like, I like the color, the white color. It's exactly what a Wii looks like from the top. Yeah, it's just a it's big white slab. Big white <laughs> slab. Of a video game. Yeah. Actually, it's not that big. It's really small. The console. Actually, it's probably one of the smallest consoles. Yeah. Isn't it? The Wii. In terms of, like, like width, depth, height, if you multiplied it out. Oh, it's pretty tiny. I can't think of a really smaller one. Like, well, the Switch is now smaller, I think, than, than the Wii uh, is. But yeah, it, it, yeah it, that's true. Because it's like a true. handheld side, size uh, machine. But That is very true. But, I but mean, up the to Wii, that point, the Wii is a pretty small machine. Up to that point, it was, I think, pretty much the smallest. Yeah, 7800? 
Mm, are you talking about the thing on the screen or the size of the 7800? It said 7800 on the screen. Because the 7800 was definitely not the smallest. Did I have trouble with this before? I did. That's yeah. the level I died you just, on. You just got it perfectly. Oh, you only get up to three. So it maxes out oh, at three lives. Oh, it Yeah, okay. That, that makes sense. sense. Usually games like this I play for level anyway. I don't play for score if there's yeah. specific levels to go to. What are you doing, Cap? He's trying to escape out the window. There's no escape. You're our prisoner. <laughs> you should know that by now. He's mm. causing lots of problems. He is exploring. He's getting in my shelf. Cons <laughs> console shelves. He's getting into the console shelf right he's, now. He's looking for a smaller console than the Wii. Yeah. <laughs> He's not finding it, though. No. Ooh, good job. Kicking ass! You're doing very well. Oh, level 7800 on the screen. Yes. Starts out with the 7800. Kicking no. No chances. No chances. This one might be a little bit more difficult. Oh, oh I got you were very close. Nervous. Yeah, I knew I was a pixel off, though. Yeah, you can tell. I love the cyan and blue. <laughs> well, that's C64 Very colors. Very of C64, yeah. Ah! One life left. Come on. The cat's distracting me, though. It's like, what is he up don't, to? Don't look at the cat. You're playing into his... Ah, uh, kitty. Into his uh, plans. There we go. Oh, good job. <sighs> oh, Space Invaders! <laughs> Easy one. Throw me an easy one. Relax me a bit before the next one. Uh, this one's got a tight turn, but not too bad. No, this one's not too bad. They definitely didn't put these in order of difficulty. No, they're kind of all over the place. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good. Nice, easy one. Is it? Pretty tight. As I die. Uh, well, you do have to hit the uh, joystick, you know. To yes. Get, uh, turn <laughs> to corners. move. Yeah. Oh. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god! I you just killed yourself. Blame the cat. Oh. Blame the cat. Okay, you get one more go one at more it. One more go. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you're gonna have to hit oh. the reset. <clears throat> what are you doing? He's looking all over the place. This cat hunts for bugs. Oh. Oh my god! You want to redo? No, no, it's fine. Okay. You do get an extra life if you complete it. I mean, you can't go past three anyway. No. So you can die each level once and you're fine. Yeah, just not more than once. No, no, no. Well, not more than three times. Good job. I don't know why I have such a hard time on that turn. <laughs> ah! Oh, see? I, too I, much I, craziness. I, it's the joystick. I don't really <laughs> like the joystick. Yeah, a clicky one would be probably better for yeah. this. It, it will actually go like diagonally, which is funny. What? Does it? Yeah. Oh, I just tried to do that, and I probably should have been paying attention. So. There's not a lot of room to play around with the diagonals, though, no. to, to find out if it does. Well, if you... you There's more. definitely no reason to go diagonally. <laughs> oh, I think I saw you go Panic. diagonally. Panic. I want to try the diagonal. No, I want to try. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was There's not a bit a very... of room at the top That's... there. <laughs> oh, come on. That was a very bad round. All right. Oh. Oh, you have to die. <laughs> oh, no in-game reset. Good to know. That is know. unusual. I feel like I keep dying on that level and I really should be able to get past oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's not that hard. I mean, you can do it how you're doing it with th quick three turns. I just try and hit it the first time and get it precise so it's what do you mean? in line. Oh, yeah. Like you go around it, I just 
because you can fit through that yeah that but then i'm scared i'm just gonna be off by a pixel and i'm gonna fail so. yeah it is it is very tight so it's i don't know there you, there go. you go there you go see <laughs> and you hadn't made it to this one no no which is sad <laughs> this one is like <laughs> that except Tighter. three times Oh. Oh. Waited too long. There we go. Ah, see, oh. I do that and I pull back. I pull back. Mm. And it pulls me down. Get too nervous. Ooh, just skimming the edge there. Uh. Oh. Oh, well. Do you want to try again? Uh, no, I think I'm done. Yeah? Yeah. This I think would be a good oh, one for the yeah. marathon, though. Any kind of games with levels. Yeah. So I'm going to write this one down for the marathon, so if we can finish it. Finish it. <laughs> See how many levels there are. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it starts repeating after a while. That's probably what happens. Yeah. All right. Nice. I wonder if Isaiah got his wheelchair room, too. I hope so. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing all the cartridges got sold. sold. Yeah. There's no follow-up. Like, literally, that's the only thing I found on the internet. Mm -hmm. And and Arena Foot had the same information, just like that tiny that bit. That tiny bit, yeah. Just yeah. somebody saying, yeah, they were there for sale. But, yeah. Cool. It's kind of interesting finding these super obscure games. Yeah. There wasn't even a download. Well, I think I that, got this in a ROM just, pack. Yeah, he just created this little game to raise a little bit of money. And yeah. he probably raised it. He probably asked a fair amount for the cartridges. to Because yeah. it's it's both a donation and you get something and in then return. You don't really need to promote it. Like, it's sold. It's done. Yeah, and, yeah. But luckily, uh, the ROM was released and we can play it. Because yeah. I don't have the cartridge. It's long gone. Um, so, the games we played today... Rally X, excellent game. Yeah. Um, lots of fun, very challenging. Not quite complete yet. Um, and the randomization of the flags isn't there. Um, but really, really fun game. Hopefully, maybe that'll come out one day on cartridge. Ed Freeze will come back and revisit it. Um, Yahtzee, uh, not much to complain about there. It's a great Yahtzee yeah. version. Um, good for parties, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if you don't want to have dice, the, the trouble of paper and dice. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, Dominant Amber, great little Twitch game um, for reaction timing. Yeah. Um, good for the, like you said, for testing out your reflexes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and also visual um, interpretation acuity. of things. Yeah, visual yeah. acuity. It's like your brain, your brain uh, reaction. And humans are color. really good at um, pattern recognition. Yes. Um, so we would. I mean, a computer can easily do that. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, much better than a human. But um, that's that's our strength is pattern recognition. And Isaiah's We Chase, uh, very challenging. A lot more challenging than I, than I thought it would be. Just yeah. because of how many tight turns there are. It's just a simple game, too, where yeah. it's just... It's, you it's just, a maze game. Yeah. With a twist. Yeah. 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 But some, those are fun. Those yeah. are fun. Yeah. Simple little games, yeah. Lots of fun. Um, so we got some big... Big shows coming up. Really big shows. Yeah. Um, the next show is going to be Champ Games' new homebrew, secret homebrew that nobody knows except for the people who worked on it. So we have to be prepared for whatever. I'll be surprised this time. Yep. Instead of the co-hosts not knowing what <laughs> games we're playing. Yep. I won't be know it. And you guys won't know it because we'll be revealing it on the show. That's exciting. Yeah. Because it has a password. <coughs> Oh. That we have to type in oh. to see it. So he's going to send it to me. I can't play it. Play it until you get the password. I cool. could try and figure out the password. That's cool. <laughs> try and hack into it. Yeah. I mean, if you if I disassemble it, I'm sure it's. Yeah. He didn't put in super hard encryption, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to I'm not going to try and hack into it, um, because it's much more fun having a surprise. So for for the graphics, I just have to have like a, I made up a graphic for it. It's like unknown game. There's no there's no picture. I have mm -hmm. no idea what it is. And he's going to be in the chat and send the code in the chat live while we're streaming. Mm -hmm. So who knows? And we'll be playing uh, Shield Shifter and the Horde as well after that um, on that day. Uh, and then on the 17th, which is Darcy, we'll play Strip Off 2 and some other random games. Don't know yet. And then on the last Wednesday before the break... Uh, we're going to be playing Halo 2600. 
which is made by Ed Freeze as well, the guy who made the Rally X game. Cool. So yeah. that's the second game. Wow. So like, oh, I haven't played Halo 2600. Let's put that in there. Um, and then some other to be announced games. I haven't figured those out yet. And then after the, we come back from the break is going to be our Uno Kart special, mm -hmm. where we get to see and talk about the capabilities of the other SD card based multi cart um, for the Atari 2600. So there, you do have choices now. Cool. Um, I mean, there was Cuddle Kart as well, and there's also the audio based cartridge. You could load one game at a time through audio. What was that called? Uh, Supercharger. That's what it is. Um, wild Wish Guess. What do you wish it to be? I, I don't really want to say because I know some. Ah, I know some of the games he has in development, and I it might be one of those. Mm. So I don't even want to say which which ones it might be because that might ruin the surprise, right? Mm. Um, I, yeah, I don't even want to talk about the games that he has uh, going on. So um, people in the, in the chat can uh, kind of have a wish of uh, which ones, but he he implied that it's not one that he has announced to anyone or was working on. It's a brand new one, but. So who knows? And uh, so we're going to be playing two of the first Uno Kart dependent games ever developed okay. on that day. Yeah. Um, and then at the end of June, eh, we're going to be having the 12 hour fundraising Yay! Stella Marathon. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Yes, it can be tons of fun. All four co four hosts are going to be here. Yeah, at different times. Yeah, at different times. And yeah. at the end, they're all going to be here. Yeah. So yeah. when you get home from work, yeah, probably six p.m. onward to twelve, so you'll catch the last half oh, yeah. or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Darcy's gonna be here the whole, maybe not the whole time. Oh, maybe he might drop out to go gaming. I hope not. I no, hope. it's it's on a no, Friday. it's on a Friday. It's on yeah. a Friday. So who knows? Yeah. And Erlen's gonna be here probably for most of the time. I think he's gonna be here for the whole thing. Cool. So at least at around the 6 p.m. mark, all four people are going to be here. And then we're going to be playing, um, hopefully, the Quad Joust and Quad Combat. Yeah, that'd be fun. With the four-port Atari adapter, yeah. Atari joystick adapter. Um, so it's going to be lots of fun. And I've got a list of games already that we're going to be playing on that day. Uh, let's see. Stop here yawning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just how I feel. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, some games that I have kind of lined up that I wanted to um, kind of finish or get further. Uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, because we have not got to the last level on that. Spies in the Night 2. Play all the variations of that, because we only played the first variation. Okay. And we didn't play the randomization of as, as well. Okay. Uh, KO Boxing and AVGN KO Boxing. We played that, didn't we? Not to the end. No, we got, but we, we got did, really far. We got pretty far. I thought we did pretty good. We did really well, yeah. but not to the end. No. And I think we could. If, I think If so. we put in some more time. I have more time in, in memorizing the patterns. Than, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Lost Cat. <laughs> I, did, I don't think you played that. I think I played that with Darcy. I think I saw part of it, Might but have. I don't know if I played it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> we didn't get very far because it was challenging. Yeah. Um, Hunchy 2, which we got... A little far, but I think we almost made it halfway through the gotcha. levels. Yeah. Um, and some challenges that I want to do. I want to reclaim my world record. On wall jump? For wall jump ninja because like somebody beat ninja. me by two rooms. Really? Yep. So now I have to get 80 rooms. Wow. But I have a strategy. I have a plan. <laughs> so I think I can do it. If I, It's very hard still to do it, but I think I can. I want to increase my uh, world record on Draconian because it's not as high as I'd like it to be. Um, but it, So I think I can do better. And also do a Draconian one level uh, score challenge okay. as well. Like don't go past level one yeah. and see how high of a score you can get because it gets into panic mode. Where everything's coming at you constantly, oh, oh, right? Red, red alert yeah, mode. that's really crazy. It's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Um, so shoot all of the the bosses except for one. Yeah. And then it goes into red alert mode. Just continuously. Or, or try and keep out of red alert mode. Okay. Um, because it'll be easier to play, but you will not be able to do it forever. Yeah. And also try and get the patch on astronomer. Okay. Which is really hard and kind of randomy. 
So I think that can be done because I do want to get all the patches for the homebrew, obviously. Yeah. And that's the second second patch uh, the space cactus canyon which i have you got that one yeah. and astronomer and i believe that's the only two patches for homebrew right now that were ever created that were ever created i know gotcha. there's some coming up so people can cool. fact check me on that and please let me know if there are any other patch challenges for homebrew games existing mm. for games uh, i know there's some coming out though um and some other things that uh, will come up in the meantime. Some random and things. people yeah. can throw us challenges our way. Yeah. Because uh, there's 12 hours to fill. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, Sorry. we'll figure out um, some unique fundraising ideas. Um, maybe some developers can contribute things um, to fundraise for Stella um, that people can bid on or do something or contribute. Like this thing is. You know, twenty dollars. This thing's fifty dollars to get it, and the first person to put in fifty yeah. um, gets it, and it, it just goes to the person. All the all the money goes to Stella Development cool. because it benefits everyone watching this show. Yeah. Um, for the developers, for me, for testing out, um, for people playing at home playing ROMs who don't have a twenty six hundred. Uh, next Activision patch game. We're still on Spider Fighter, and Activision challenges are going to be going to. Um, Fridays with you and Darcy. Okay. Uh, and Wednesdays will be new game day. Um, with with Erlen. Game with yeah. Erlen. Yeah. <clears throat> so, because there's a lot of patch patches to get through get, for yeah. for Activision um, games. Um, so I need to get on those. Yeah. And I we've only played it once. Spider Fighter. It was fun. It, it was, was hard. Really though. fun and yeah. hard tonight. We all, m almost made it Yeah. on the hard mode. Yeah. So I think one more round and I think I can get that. A little bit of practice, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and the patch challenges, the one after that is Stampede, um, okay. which is at 3,000 points. And I think I can achieve that in one on go. On Stampede? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I know the pattern and uh, there's, there's certain ways to do it. Okay. Yeah. And then after that is Keystone Capers and River Raid. Nice. And after that, we'll take suggestions for which yeah. which patch to get next. And hopefully I can buy some patches in Portland Retro uh, Gaming Expo. Like the original ones? Yeah. Mm. Uh, when we're down there, if I get these uh, get these scores. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think that's about it for now. And of course, Dan Kitchen's interview is coming up soon-ish. Oh, and, yeah. and the Gold Rush as well. I don't know if... I doubt we'll be able to do that before the break, so it'll be after the break. After, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. Sorry. Yeah, that'll be really exciting. And uh, thank you everybody yep. for tuning in. And make sure you tune in next Wednesday because it's going to be a big show. Yep. With uh, Champ Games, new game. Yes, very. I exciting. can't. I can't wait. So thanks, Ice Bosta, for watching. Ground Trooper, Thrust. Give it to me. Give what to you? I missed that. <laughs> I don't know what that was in reference to. Um, Dan ABC, Wink Dot, RC70, uh, Thrust, uh, Rena Foot, who jumped in and out. I think he's not here Taylor anymore. 26. Oh, he's at work, so he's in and out. There we go. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, who else? I suppose I think I said Anthony Nelms, 38, a new person. Hello. And I think that's it. Pretty quiet today. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. Dan ABC and Ground Trooper, thank you for saying good show, fun yeah. stream. And uh, yeah, we are done. And uh, so everybody have a good weekend. Yes, and have a great weekend. And we will too. It's beautiful weather out here. Yeah, we're very Hopefully lucky it's nice right now. It's where you are. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like beautiful, sunny, 24 degrees yeah. Celsius. Yeah. Right where you want it to be. So yeah. hopefully it stays. So I'll hang these up. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of sitting. Dangerously. <laughs> dangerously. Perched on, on there. the back of the... Yeah. The couch. So yes, definitely tune in on Wednesday for Champ Games new game, and I will definitely remind everyone in the forums and on all my social media as well because yeah. I've been neglecting um, my um, Instagram quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah. I'll definitely let everybody know about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, not nice, but we need the rain. Yeah. Oh, sometimes you so, need the sometimes rain. Sometimes you need the, the rain. So do we. Plants. We get very dry in the summer yeah. here. So. So we'll yeah. see you on Wednesday, and we'll see you, oh, yeah. not for a long time. A couple weeks, probably. Yeah, not yeah. till after the break, I think. Yeah, well. Um, but we'll see you again eventually. Soon. Soon, Soon enough. <laughs> so bye-bye, everyone. Bye. See you next time.